If you're watching this, you're among the 3% of people that understand that the future of work is going to look very different from what it is now. So keep watching. Let's see where we're heading. It's also exciting, right? Siri will recognize your voice even if you're five meters away from your phone. That new chatbot feels totally real. Self-driving cars are no longer fiction. You can analyze your DNA. You tried flying that drone for the first time and you're thinking of buying a smart speaker to make your life so much easier. A few years from now, and that's something like three years, not 30, artificial intelligence, robotics, machine learning, mass 3D printing, biotechnology, chatbots, virtual reality, deep learning, drones, augmented reality, smart objects will all be deeply enrooted in our everyday lives. Just like computers, phones, or electricity are for us today. Oh well, is this really gonna happen? And if it does, you'll adapt when the time comes, right? Life is good. You love your job. You've been working for this established company for a few years. You're comfortable in your position. You know what you're good at. People like you. And that last presentation you gave got you some amazing reactions. You're safe with your company. In the meantime, you see an article or two speculating on the future of jobs. McKinsey published a report stating that 45% of all current tasks could be automated with present technology. The World Economic Forum estimates that 33% of jobs in 2020 don't even exist yet. But what do they know, right? You've got time. Oh look, the supermarket just introduced self-cashier machine. You're at the airport checking in luggage. What the heck happened to all the real people at the check-in desk? Gone. Replaced by machines. But it's only the low-skilled jobs, right? Nope. Think again. In 2012, there were 150,000 humans working on Wall Street. Three years later, automation has cut that number down to 100,000. That's one-third gone. But it's only the mathematical and scientific jobs, right? Nope. Think again. This Japanese insurance company, Fukuoka Mutual Life Insurance, is already replacing all its human insurance claim workers with an AI system that will handle customers more efficiently. See these articles? They're written by algorithms. And we can't tell the difference with human written content. And thinking of converting yourself to being an online poker player? Too late. There's an AI that can already beat humans at it. Most journalists, tax consultants, marketeers, technicians, knowledge workers, lawyers, even the person editing this video right now will to some extent have been impacted or automated by technology in a couple of years. And what have you been doing? Probably watching Netflix. And the problem is, the machines don't wait. And the machines, they don't watch Netflix. So what are the forces at play here? Basically, there's 10 million developers out there using increasingly simple and cheap technology to build new products and services. Some as young as 12 are already coding the future. Even that safe company you work for is increasingly under outside threat. And it's not just the Google, Amazon, Facebooks, and Apples of the world that I'm talking about. There are now tens of thousands of startups out there eating away at all sorts of jobs. Now, are they creating many jobs in the process? Let's look at some stats. Travel a bunch of years back to when Kodak ruled the world of photography. They were worth 38 billion and employed 140,000 people. That's approximately $270,000 per employee. Our people work with pride to make Kodak a creative and innovative company. Fast forward to recent times, YouTube sold for 1.65 billion with a mere 65 employees. That's $25 million per employee. Instagram, which had 13 employees and was sold for $1 billion. That's $77 million per employee. WhatsApp sold for 19 billion with 55 employees. That's a staggering 345 million per employee. So how is this all possible? Technology has allowed the emergence of what we call exponential organizations. These are exponentially fast-growing companies that leverage technology and require less employees but more tech-savvy ones. You will find that we are technology optimists. We believe that technology is a major driver of change in the world. And as software continues to eat up the world, more companies are trying to replicate these exponential companies. Hire less people but grow exponentially through technology. As this happens, job roles are slowly disappearing and being replaced by skill sets. Employers require you to know an ever-growing number of new and ever-changing fundamental skills in order to use the technologies they've implemented. Master the fundamentals and you can master the rest. A digital skills gap is growing for both mid-skill and high-skill level jobs. Before you know it, you've become irrelevant. But wait, what's this doomsday message? There's actually a way to leverage technology before it leverages you. And in fact, it's never been easier to do so. This might sound kind of corny, but it starts with the right state of mind. It starts with having a growth mindset, where you have the desire and the confidence that you can learn anything. Shift your thinking on how these technologies will rattle and mutate, but enrich your work life. Because yes, if you play your cards right, technology will make your work life and your life in general much, much better. 
The fact is that technology will actually remove boring, repetitive jobs from your way, but only if you understand the fundamentals. And you have no excuse not to do so. How can you stay relevant if you can't talk the lingo? How can you stay relevant if you can't execute? Can you talk tech? Can you talk APIs? Can you talk code? Can you talk data? While slow educational institutions are struggling to keep up, that's not an excuse. Train yourself, take your education in your own hands, learn to code, learn about behavioral psychology, automation tools, playing with data, user experiences, be curious. And if you're an employer, train your people. Online and offline courses have never been more readily available or rich in content. It's time to build something. Your greatest credential in this new era is your output of stuff. Proof of your awesomeness. A website, a blog, a prototype, a simple data model. It's time to build cool stuff and showcase it. It's time to start learning. It's time to get shit done. It's time for your growth.